Joe from Joe K Models here. Alright, so this is going to be the last vlog in this series. I am now down to the last bits that I'm working on. And basically all of this right now is, um, you know, just doing the, the last few, I guess you would consider them sub-assemblies. Um, so I have to create three of these guns to go on the top of the airplane, so I've already started to take some of those pieces off, um, getting them ready for assembly. Um, you can see here that, you know, I've actually bent these little pieces up before even taking them off, because um, in the directions it shows that those get bent up, and then this part here gets um, twisted around, then you just add the, uh, the guns on top. So I gotta build three of those. Um, I'm also going to be working on the uh, propellers, um, so that's actually going to be a wood grain, so I'm probably just going to um, put a primer over those, do maybe a uh, desert tan, and then just take a brown oil paint and go over those to get the, uh, the wood effect. Um, then I have the exhausts here, which will be going on the side of the engine, so I'm going to be priming those and painting those accordingly, maybe adding a little bit of weathering to them, maybe a pastel dusting or something like that. Um, and then the last part here, I actually had some, an extra, um, oops, an extra windshield here. And these actually came with some clear pieces of plastic, like a film to put over for the, the glass. Um, but all I did with these just to test it out was, um, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but um, I just put some uh, Future or Clear, um, the Revive It floor, floor Gloss, and I just put a, um, I just put that over that, and it actually stayed on there and uh, created a, um, you know, glassy texture. So I'm probably going to do that on the on the real thing. Um, so that's how I'm going to do that part. Um, the last little bits after that is I have to. Um, finish a little bit of detail painting when I painted the airplane um, the green color you can see there that the green is on the back of those windshields so I'm just going to clean that up a little bit and add the uh, interior gray color to it um, and then a little bit of work just right in here um, maybe putting a silver in there and then maybe um, something to show that it's it's glass um, or whatnot so that's basically where I'm at right now with the uh, final construction um, I'm going to be trying um, something else a little bit just so that when I give um, this plane to the person I'm giving it to, um, they have a little display for it. So I'm um, just kind of last minute creating something a little bit, a little bit different for that. So, um, so yeah, that's it. So I'm going to start working on those last little bits and, um, you know, the next video should uh, probably be the final build video. So look forward to sharing that. But um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let me finish where I'm at right now and I'll be right back.
Okay, so really close to the finish line here. Um, the last little bits that I'm doing, as you could see, I was um, doing these uh, gun turret placements. I have the propellers right there, and I still have to do the little um, nose of the propeller piece on there. So I'm getting those prepped for painting, and then I'm just going to put those on. Um, did run into two issues um, towards the end, of course. <laughs> couldn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. Um, I was hoping to finish this up today. Um, but one of the things that happened was this turret here on the back. There's actually two of them. So when I was kind of dry fitting and figuring out where I was going to be putting those, the one here in the, the first part actually fell into the airplane. And I spent a fair amount of time trying to create um little snakes to uh, go in there and try and pull it out and i just can't get it get it out so um I, I gave up on that but um unfortunately there isn't really any spare parts in here um there is a spare part for um the bottom part of it so the part that it spins around on there there is an extra one of those in plastic so i got the pe parts and then i also have the plastic part so I took the extra plastic and I just kind of um, put together this. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it, but I put that together. Um, so I just used the plastic bottom piece and then I cut another one of the plastic pieces in half to make the little ring that points upwards. And then I just used um, a little piece of plastic to put on the top there so that the guns can fit on. So. Hopefully that should look pretty good, um, you know, once it's all complete. The other issue that I ran into is when I was going through the propeller um, nose pieces, which you see are right here. There's four engines, but there's only three of them. Well, the fourth one is gone. Um, it was snapped off of the tree, and I have no idea where it went. I don't know if it got lost when I was going through it or, or what, but it was not on there. So... Um, what I'm doing for that is I have these bombs and I put this one together and I'm just going to glue it together and it's drying right now and then I'm going to cut off um, the nose part of it and it looks to be about the same the same type of shape as those other three there so I'm just going to cut this bomb once it's um once it's dried and then i'm going to do a little hole there to fit it into the propeller so that's what i'm doing for that so that's basically where i'm at and then once that is all finished um the last thing after that will be to put the guns on so i have all of the guns i want to be careful not to lose these i've already had two mishaps but um, then I got the guns and I'm just going to put those on last and that should finish it up. Um, so probably not going to do another vlog after this. Probably going to work on the, um, the final reveal. Um, I do have an idea. I don't want to just give this airplane the way it is. So I have an idea or two about something I'm going to do for um, the base um, just so that I can give it in some type of a, a case. So um, after this i'll probably be working on the full the full build video so look for that to come real soon but um i just want to take this time to thank everyone that's been on this journey with me um i know a couple of you have been following pretty close so i definitely appreciate the support uh this has definitely been a very challenging model for me um something that i didn't realize what I was getting into um, at the time, but it has been very satisfying, um, even working through some of the challenges with it. And I'll probably make another video, just kind of a final um, thoughts once I'm completely done with it. Um, so look for that as well. But again, thank you so much for the support and following along and uh, definitely appreciate that. And I'll be looking forward to doing more videos in the future and um, yeah, you know, moving, moving forward. So Appreciate that. Uh, this is Joe from Joe K Models, and I'll talk to you real soon.